Well, good morning guys. Um, welcome back to another video about trucking. Um, we're gonna drive about 500 miles today and then tomorrow we'll drive about 470 um, and then we'll be there. Um, we woke up kind of late today but it is what it is you know. Um, sometimes you're not gonna wake up at 8 a.m. and it's a holiday too so I'm kind of curious to see how truck parking will be uh, with the holiday. I'm wondering if a lot of people like park their trucks at the truck stop and go home for Thanksgiving and then like take up all the parking spaces so we're gonna have to figure that out as we go um, but we got about a hundred miles till we get to Boonville Missouri and then we got to fill up and then uh, we'll have another 400 miles to go after that there's like three truck stops that I'm gonna try to hit up we'll probably get there around 8 30 9 o'clock unless it's Eastern time then it'd be almost 10 so we'll have to see how that goes this is our uh, designated fuel stop here this loves, uh, so we're gonna fill up here. I, I normally don't stop at fuel stops, but uh, I try. But sometimes, they, like for this load, I think they sent me like four fuel stops, and it's only 865 miles away from here. So I'm, you know, I actually probably will have to get fuel again because I got, I got fuel like 845 miles ago, and I'm down to like a quarter of a tank. So it'd probably be better to get fuel one more time uh, before I get to the shipper. Um, but we might get better fuel economy than we did too, so you never know. I'll just wait for this guy, see if he's gonna turn left. I'm guessing, yeah, he is, okay. That's what I assumed he was gonna do, but, you know, just had to make sure of that. So anyways, we're gonna pull into this Loves and get some fuel. Um, yeah, I hope you guys bought a lot of stuff on Black Friday. Um, you know, Black Friday's pretty cool. Cyber Monday's better though. Black Friday's overrated anymore. All the deals are online, you know? But, uh, yeah, so we have to get fuel here. I'm gonna try to take a 30 minute break real quick. It's good to know that the Loves is open though. I kind of felt like they weren't gonna be open. Um, I also need a wash off. My windshield I need to clean that thing the thing's a little dirty it's not too bad though because these windshield wiper blades are really good so uh, yeah but we're gonna get fuel we don't need def so we're just gonna get some fuel and maybe we'll go into loves and get something I don't know I already ate like a whole bag of chips I, I don't know if I told you guys or not but uh, I went home last night just to see the family for Thanksgiving and then I came back to the truck and slept in the truck but um, go ahead and switch it off duty but I like made like I didn't know if the truck stops would be open or not so I got some like chips and then I got my dad gave me uh, these and they're summer sausage and there's three in here but I only ate two and a half they, they were okay I don't know it tasted like a hot dog you would get off like a food warmer at like loves or something so I'm gonna try to take a 30 minute break um, what we'll do is we'll fill up and then we'll pull up and then if someone like pulls up behind us but they get done fueling before the 30 minute breaks up i'll just crawl around because it should be pretty close by then because it normally takes like you know 15 not it's not gonna take me 15 minutes to fill up but it's gonna take me probably a couple minutes so so we uh went and got fuel and we took a 30 minute break but we went in and used the bathroom because i'm pretty sure i'll be stopping at a flying j or a pilot tonight and like i've always said loves are nicer so um, we're leaving now. Uh, we got 398 miles till we make it to uh, the potential truck stop we're stopping at for the night. We got nine hours of drive time, but 400 miles takes about close to seven hours. So, uh, yeah, so it's three o'clock. So we'll be getting there at 10. And if it's in Eastern time, it'll be 11 o'clock at night. So that's gonna be some night driving, but I should deck my truck out like that. That's, that's pretty neat. I like that. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. I guess we can start singing Christmas music because today's Thanksgiving and you know it's almost over. So yeah. Um yeah guys, I don't know if we will update about anything. We may update if we come across like a crash or something. 
I know that's awful to say, but I know, like, for some reason people just love car wrecks, so I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't come across any wrecks, because it's Thanksgiving, and that's just even worse, because, you know, a lot of these people are out here traveling for Thanksgiving. All right, guys, we just crossed over into Illinois. Um, we got about 247 miles left to go. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. It's raining though. Uh, I'm just very thankful for this truck because that's crazy I'm saying I'm very thankful for this truck on Thanksgiving. That's kind of weird, but I'm very thankful for this truck because uh, the windshield wiper blades really do a nice job compared to the other truck and it also helps. I mean you guys can't really see it right now, but the headlights on this truck are just so much brighter than the other truck and it just helps with visibility all around. Um, and yeah, so 246 miles left, and then we're gonna be shut down for the night. We should be there, 246 miles is about uh, a little under four hours. So, and it's 536 right now. So we should be shutting down right around, um, probably nine something. Um, and hopefully we can find some parking at one of those three truck stops. Because uh, if I can't, I don't know where I'm parking because I'm going to be pretty close to Nashville at that point. So we'll just have to hope and pray. And if not, we're going to have to be creative. So uh, we're going to pull off here and check out this Loves. Because um, I know the other one that I'm headed to is closer towards Nashville. And I know like the closer you get to bigger cities like that, the harder it is to find parking. So we're going to try to find some parking at this Loves. Originally, we still had another 130 miles to drive today, but um, I think left to Young Street, left. I think uh, if I go here, I'll have about 600 miles tomorrow, like 620 miles. Oh, do I need? I don't know. It doesn't. I think I'm supposed to go here. No, I'm not. Crap. Well, the, I see the loves over there. So hopefully this is right. Keep right to the Hill Avenue. Did I mark the loves? Oh boy. I think I did mark the love. I'm not sure. Hopefully I can. I hope this is right. I mean, I see the entrance for the loves over here, so I'm, I'm thinking this is right. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, the loves is right there. I thought that was right. I just wasn't sure. Hopefully we can find some parking here though. That's kind of cool. There's a bicycle lane right down the middle of the road. stop in there though I don't know if he is trying to keep distance from the other guy or what can I not I'm gonna take a look here can I not make a left at that intersection I hope I can I don't want to go through that roundabout down there there's a light up here. I should be able to turn in at this intersection. It says enter right at there. The Take the first exit. I don't know if there's going to be any parking though, but we're going to find out. If there's no parking, it's no big deal. I'll just continue on down the road, but I'm hoping there's parking. Both jangles open. There might, it looks like there's some parking here. We should be good then. I'm gonna stop here for the night. I'm gonna see how far I am away from, cause I, I think if it's like 630 miles, right? I think that the Charlotte yard, um, cause like I know like I could drive 630 miles tomorrow, but if it's, um, hey Garmin. Cancel navigation. Hey, Garmin. Cancel navigation. Okay. Cancel. I think, yeah, 
there's some spots here. We're fine. There's plenty of spots here. I think, no, I haven't stopped here yet. I was about to say, I think I've stopped here before, but I haven't. Maybe I have, I can't remember, dude. It's, there's so many places I go, you know, it's just hard to remember, but crap. We could have set that up for a straight back right there. Um, can we set one of these up? Uh, our trailers so far over. There's so many spots left here. Jeez, I wasn't expecting this many. Could have taken that one. Should just take one of these. Um, we'll just make a U-turn down here. to the fuel island area and make a U-turn and take one of those spots. I wonder if it's, I wonder if all these other places would have lots of parking. I just don't know how to feel about it because I feel like, you know, it's Thanksgiving so a lot of people probably park their trucks and so I feel like a lot more spots like near like major cities would have less parking. That's, that's my thought process but if you've been driving for a while let me know the actual reason on it because that's that's what I was thinking is like the closer I get to Nashville, the less truck stop parking there will be. That's what I was thinking, but I mean, this place is empty and it says normally there's like some parking spots right now and it fills up pretty close to now. Like in another hour, I'll be full, but it's not going to be full in the next hour. I'll tell you that now. We'll just take a... Uh can't remember where I said that spot was, but should be able to set up a 45 here too. I think it was on the other side of the, yep, it's on the other side of here. I'm gonna try to get next to this PTL though. Man, whoever told me to like start doing 45s more, I appreciate that a lot because you guys were not lying that these 45s are so much better. Because like, this is just so much better than doing the freaking 90, dude. so much better I think we just one shot at that yeah we did now some places you don't have enough room to do it but I'm gonna try to go as far back as I can I think that's probably good there Anyways, if you guys liked the video, like always, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for future content. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Come on. Everything is A-OK -okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me. Yeah, let me show you how I'm living. Come on.